Imagine a world where artificial intelligence isn't just powering your smartphone assistant, but running the very fabric of our daily lives, from self-driving cars, to smart cities, to health diagnostics that can save lives before a doctor even spots the problem. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's happening right now. And here's the kicker. The companies fueling this revolution are not only shaping the future, but also creating massive opportunities for investors. So today, we're diving into three top tech stocks that I believe every investor might want to consider. And trust me, you'll want to stick around until the end because stock number three, it literally builds the machines that make AI possible. Welcome to Money Mind Finance. If you're new here, we break down the biggest stories in tech, finance and innovation and everything stock news analysis in a way that's fun, easy to follow and worth your time. Before we dive in, please take a second to hit the like button, share it with your friends and also subscribe. Please help this video to get at least 500 likes. It really helps to support the channel and keeps us bringing you the latest market insight. Thank you. Now quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not your financial advisor and this isn't personalized investment advice. Always do your own research before investing in any stock. But before we get into the list, let's zoom out for a second and talk about why tech, especially the chip industry and AI, is at the center of everything happening in the markets right now. Let's talk about why AI and chips are driving everything. Let's be real, technology has always been a driver of growth. Think about it. Every major leap in the global economy has been powered by some breakthrough in tech, whether it was the personal computer, the internet, or the smartphone. But today, the buzzword, the mega trend, is artificial intelligence. Now here's the important thing. AI doesn't just run on thin air. It needs insane computing power. And that computing power? It comes from semiconductors, those tiny chips smaller than your fingernail that pack billions of transistors. Without chips, AI is just an idea. With chips, AI becomes a force that can reshape industries. And it's not just about training these giant models like ChatGPT or Google's Gemini. Once you've trained an AI, it needs to run every day, all day, interpreting billions of queries, images, and tasks. That's what's called inference. And inference is ongoing. It's like fueling a car. It's not a one-time expense, it's continuous. Which means companies that can make this process cheaper, faster, and more efficient. Those are the companies that are about to see big, consistent growth. All right, now that we've set the stage, let's break down the three stocks at the center of this AI-fueled revolution. First stock on my list is Broadcom with a ticker symbol, AVGO. Now I know when you think AI chips, you're probably thinking NVIDIA. But here's where things get interesting. There's a whole world outside of NVIDIA, and Broadcom is quietly becoming one of the most important players. Here's the deal. Companies like Alphabet, Meta, and ByteDance realize they don't always want to be fully dependent on NVIDIA's GPUs. Why? Because GPUs are expensive, power-hungry, and not always the best fit for inference workloads. That's where Broadcom steps in. They help these big players design their own custom chips, chips that are cheaper to run, highly optimized, and tailor-made for AI. And the numbers? They're staggering. Just with Alphabet, Meta, and ByteDance alone, Broadcom is looking at a revenue opportunity between $60 and $90 billion by 2027. That's not market hype, that's from actual customer orders and contracts already in play. And get this, there's a fourth major customer that recently placed a $10 billion order. While Broadcom hasn't named names, the industry buzz is that it's OpenAI. Yes, the same OpenAI behind ChatGPT. If that's true, Broadcom just locked in one of the biggest names in AI as a client. Now think about the ripple effects. OpenAI and Oracle are planning to spend $300 billion building data centers over the next five years. That's a mind-blowing number. And Broadcom's role in providing custom chips for these massive operations puts them right in the center of this storm. Oh, and let's not forget Apple. 
Broadcom is helping Apple develop its own custom AI chips. So we're not talking about a one-trick pony here. Broadcom is diversifying across multiple tech giants. Bottom line. As AI workloads scale up, Broadcom is positioning itself as the go-to for custom solutions. That's why I think this stock isn't just a strong play. It's a long-term growth machine. If you're enjoying these market insights and finding them helpful, please take a moment to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you. Next up, Taiwan Semiconductor, ticker symbol TSM. If Broadcom is designing the custom chips, TSM is the one actually building them. And here's where it gets really fascinating. TSM has basically become the heart of the entire semiconductor ecosystem. Why? Because manufacturing advanced chips isn't easy. In fact, it's one of the hardest, most complex engineering challenges on the planet. You're literally etching transistors so small they're measured in nanometers. To put that into perspective, a nanometer is one billionth of a meter. That's smaller than the width of a human hair by tens of thousands of times. Now, Intel and Samsung have tried to catch up with TSM in terms of advanced chip manufacturing. But the reality is they've struggled. Producing chips at smaller nodes with high yields, meaning most of the chips on a wafer are usable and not defective, is incredibly difficult. And TSM has nailed it. That's why they're the go-to manufacturer for NVIDIA, AMD, Apple, and yes, even Broadcom's custom chips. Here's another kicker. Because TSM has this near monopoly on cutting-edge manufacturing, they have pricing power. They've already announced plans to raise prices by 10% next year. And do you think NVIDIA or Apple are going to walk away? No chance they need TSM more than TSM needs them. What makes TSM such a compelling stock is that no matter who wins the AI design war, whether it's NVIDIA, Broadcom, or some new startup, TSM wins too. Because almost everyone has to go through them to get their chips made. So if you're looking for a pick-and-shovel play, you might want to consider TSM. If you're enjoying these market insights and finding them helpful, please take a moment to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you. And finally, let's talk about ASML, ticker symbol ASML. Now, if TSM is the heart of the chip industry, ASML is the oxygen. Without ASML, the entire semiconductor ecosystem would collapse. Here's why. ASML makes the machines that actually allow chips to be manufactured at cutting-edge levels. Specifically, they own the technology called EUV lithography. And when I say own, I mean literally, no other company on the planet can make EUV machines. It's a monopoly. Each one of these machines costs over $220 million, and their next-generation high NAUV machines are almost double that price. That's like buying a fleet of private jets, except instead of flying, these machines print transistors on silicon wafers. And here's the kicker. Intel, TSMC and Samsung, all of them depend on ASML. If ASML doesn't deliver machines, nobody can push chips to the next level. Now, adoption of the new high NAEUV machines may take time, but AI demand is already driving massive sales of their current EUV systems. With foundries expanding capacity left and right, ASML is basically selling picks and shovels in a gold rush. Except in this case, it's a gold rush for AI chips. And ASML isn't just sitting still. They've even started dabbling in AI themselves, recently investing in Mistral AI, a European AI startup. While that's interesting, the real reason to own ASML stock is their monopoly on EUV. When you've cornered a market like this, you don't just compete, you dominate. For long-term investors, ASML is one of the safest moats in all of tech. So Broadcom, Taiwan Semiconductor and ASML. Three companies that aren't just benefiting from the AI boom, they're building it. They're the backbone of everything happening in artificial intelligence right now, and their growth potential over the next five to ten years is massive. Now, quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. I'm not your financial advisor and this isn't personalized investment advice. Always do your own research before investing in any stock. The market can be volatile, 
and while these companies look strong, there are always risks you need to weigh. But here's the takeaway. If you believe in the future of AI, and I think we can all agree it's not going anywhere, then these are the types of companies you may want to keep on your radar. All right, before you head off to binge the next video, I want to hear from you. What do you think about these three stocks? Are you already invested in any of them? Or do you have another AI play you're watching closely? Drop your thoughts in the comments because I'd love to get the conversation going. And hey, if you found value in this breakdown, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Share this with a friend who's curious about investing in tech. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next deep dive into the world of investing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.